Hello, welcome to this video on how to use pivot table in LibreOffice. Okay, so uh, I want to draw, put up a pivot table analysis on this large transactional data. As usual, as you would have done in Excel, you select the table. So I do the regular keyboard shortcut, Control Shift, right, Control Shift down. Control A also works, but because I have something to do right, it's selecting it. So this is the other shortcut that selects exactly what I want. And then uh, what I do next is I, I go to data, I go to pivot table, I say insert or edit, okay? And then it asks me current selection, uh, yeah, current selection. So I go with okay. And then this is the thing about it that maybe you were gonna experience, uh, prefer the experience in Excel better. The fact that this doesn't do like on like, Excel where as I'm putting in the different fields in different portion of the of the of the of the menu the setting side I'll be seeing the preview of what I'm doing here I think you have to put everything in first <laughs> and then you now see what has happened so you must be pretty comfortable like very used to the whole uh, pivotable field so well I am so I can help you out with understanding what they do filters as the name says filters allows you to be able to give perspective to what you want to see. Do I want to see for different branches? In this case, do I want to see for different time range? So I'm going to put time range in filter. Okay, so the idea is you can say you should show for all range, all countries, all time range, all whatsoever you have put in, in, in filters or, or for just some specific ones or just one particular category. So that is that for filters. Then what do I want to see the breakdown by? I want to see the breakdown by the different pizza types we sell. The different product we sell so that means i'm going to drag product to row fields that way to lay them out this way as you can see as i have here right so it's going to lay them out in one bar row that's why it's called row field but if i had preferred it you know column wise you know like transposed kind of shape you know so that i get this pizza all lined up uh horizontally and then these figures showing beneath them right then i will have dragged that to columns but i like it this way so i'm going to leave it in rows then the calculations you want to do so the data that you want computed for all the different pizza types you know then that's what you drag to data fields so i want to see the quantity sold and then some is what i want i also want to see the the amount sold you know again the summation of it it has options you know where you can specify some other things like do you want to add a filter to the different columns do you want to uh, ignore empty rows and if you have any reason to change your source and destination i don't want to touch any one of them i'm okay with the way it is you should go ahead and put it in a new sheet for me i already already selected the exact selection i i source data so i don't need to change this again so i'm just going to click on okay and voila this is it right uh like i said it's not as awesome as you would have had it in Excel, but such is life. You are using a free tool. You don't expect it to be as, as robust as, as, as Excel, but then it has the, the settings here. So if you, you know, go here, you can be able to, again, tweak some things about it. Okay, so that's it. This is how you do pivot table in LibreOffice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it.